Is it legal? And is it safe to use retreaded or recapped tires on your schoolie? Well, let's dig into this a little bit and uncover some facts. Okay, that was a fair amount of digging. I'm still a bit out of breath, but let's look at the tread on this. This is a retreaded tire that I bought. In fact, I get these regularly. This one, because it's new, essentially a brand new tread, was $75. Uh, if I get them that have had some road wear, they're 50 bucks each. I get them at a place down in Phoenix, but you could probably find a reliable and cheap source near you. So we've seen the tread. Let me put this up in the stand. I'll show you some markings on the sidewall. So this is a Bridgestone tire. So a quality tire. And before any tire is retreaded or recapped, the casing is inspected to make sure that it's suitable for that. Now, you may not see these, I'll, I'll interpret them. The tire was originally made 3813, so the 38th week of 2013, and it's 2023 right now. So this tire is 10 years old. When it was retreaded a second or the first time, it was retreaded the 45th week of 2014. And then again, most recently before I got it, the 12th week of 2021. So two years ago. So this is essentially a fresh recap on a casing that was inspected and found to be good just two years ago. This particular size is what the trucking community will often call a low pro. So it's a 295-75R 22 and a half, which is pretty close to the 11R 22 and a halfs that you would have on your bus. Now you wanna check the weight rating on the tire and make sure that it's suitable and that you don't put a tire that's uh, not suitable for your rim width, but these are usually pretty compatible. And just an example of a semi-truck tire that would work on your bus, your schoolie, and be legal to use. And I think I'll show you safe to use. So let's go inside and do some research. Before we dig into a study and the law. Uh, let me clarify, I am not a tire engineer. I know that the use of retreaded or recapped tires on your vehicle is a controversial subject. You do you, and I don't want to tell you what to do. But if somebody tells you that using a recap tire on your schoolie or bus conversion is illegal, ask them to point you to a source and they won't find one. If somebody tells you that using a recapped or retreaded tire on your schoolie or bus conversion is unsafe or more um, likely to fail than an original tread, original equipment, or what they call a virgin tire, uh, ask them to point you to some data because I don't think you'll find it. In fact, the data from the best available study contradicts that. And the short summary is that it is legal to use a retreaded or recapped tire on your schoolie or bus coach conversion. Um, it is no more likely to fail than a virgin tire, according to the best available data. Now, I'm not a tire engineer. And like I said, you got your own opinion. You do what's comfortable to you, what fits your budget, uh, what fits your preferences. But I have had some experience in this during my previous career as a police officer for a long time, I was a motor officer investigating collisions. I was a vehicular crimes detective investigating serious injury and fatal crashes in Phoenix. I was an instructor for NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. I taught for them for many years, taught crash dynamics courses. I even uh, was a pilot instructor on a Spanish language version of a two week curriculum they were testing. So I got to teach that. I've taught that all over the country, including Hawaii, uh, and all over the mainland U.S. So 
I've got a little bit of experience with tires and crashes. I was also during my time as a police officer uh, for a long time, a tactical driving instructor. And one of the vehicle types that we taught in were class A motorhomes. They called them command vehicles, but it was just a, you know, the motorhome you see at the crime scenes and out at the tactical incidents. And uh, we had to teach people how to do evasive maneuvers in those. I've experienced blowouts in buses. I've owned more buses than I can count. I think right now we own eight or nine buses. I have a CDL, you know, for passenger buses, which is not really relevant, but I have experienced blowouts. The most important thing you can do to prevent an issue with your tires is to keep them inflated properly. You'll see as we dig into this report that the number one cause of tire failure was road hazards, hitting something on the road. The number two cause was underinflation or overinflation. And underinflation leads to higher temperatures in the tire which is also one of the factors. So keep your tires properly inflated, check them, uh, make sure you feel good about them, but let's dig into the data here and we'll help you decide whether this is a good choice for you or not. First, let's talk about why you might wanna use a retreaded tire instead of a virgin tire. Well, one and the most attractive for a lot of people and commercial vehicle owners is cost. A recap tire like those ones I showed you cost anywhere from $50 to 75 bucks. My cost at a place in Phoenix, anybody could walk in there. So I think that's pretty standard. So cost is a big one. Uh, the other is environmental impact. If you use a tire that still has a good casing and many of these retreads are used on casings that are 10 up to 15 years old maybe, uh, they're inspected, and again, you'll see that they're no more likely to fail. They're just as safe as a virgin tire. But the environmental impact by not putting that usable casing in a landfill is attractive to a lot of people. If you want to throw away a perfectly good casing... How dare you! But if that casing can be reused, retreaded, or recapped, and put back into service, you've now not thrown that casing into the landfill. You've also avoided, they say, I think it's uh, 22 gallons of oil it takes to make a tire, a new tire, and just a couple gallons to retread a tire. So you're saving environmental impact there if that's important to you. Uh, but the big one is just really cost and having a tire with good tread as opposed to driving around on an old tire that might be bald because you can't afford brand new tires. So anyway, this gives you an option. Is it legal to do? Well, CFR, the Code of Federal Regulations 393.75 says that no bus shall be operated with regrooved, recapped, or retreaded tires on the front wheels. Well, guess what? Your schoolie, once you've taken all the seats out and you're not operating it for carrying passengers, is no longer a bus by definition, uh, not federally or in any state that I've found. So your schoolie conversion is no longer a bus. So you can legally use recap tires on the front. Now that's not very common. A lot of people still prefer, and this is again, personal preference uh, to use virgin tires on the front, even if they use recaps on the back, but it is perfectly legal to use retreaded or recap tires in any position on your coach or bus conversion. Now, could a semi truck use recapped or retreaded tires on the front? And if they were more likely to fail based on any evidence, you'd think that semi-trucks wouldn't be allowed to use retreads on the front. Well, they can. Again, it's common with operators to not put retreads on the front out of preference, but you can legally use recapped or retreaded tires on the front axle, the steer tires of a semi-truck. Even a semi-truck carrying hazardous materials can use retreads on the front. So the only legal prohibition is against uh, using them on a bus that's carrying passengers and you are no longer in that position if you're watching this video. Well, what about safety? In 2007, a study was finalized and it was released in 2008. And you can find this online. I will put a link to it here through the National Technical Reports Library. And up here in the top left corner, there is a download link the Commercial Medium Tire Debris Study. 
You don't have to read it. It's kind of fascinating. Uh, maybe I'm a geek, but it's 200 some odd pages. And there are a lot of photos in here of tire failures. But the short summary is that they collected NHTSA, and this study was done by the University of Michigan. They collected from a bunch of different states over several years, tens of thousands of pounds. In fact, I think it was 86,000 tons of tire casings. So tires from the side of the road, treads from the side of the road, tires that were recovered from uh, truck stop uh, or truck tire repair centers uh, off the freeway. And they analyzed all these tires for failure and they were able to determine in like 96% of the cases, how many of the tires failed because of a particular identifiable cause, whether it was a road hazard or under inflation, over inflation, something like that. There were just a very small percentage where they couldn't identify it. And let me just say that if you find tread on the side of the road, uh, and you'll see that driving down the freeway, often, in fact, most often you'll find the belt, you know, the wire or they don't use fabric nylon much or if, if at all anymore, but you'll see the belt material sticking out of the side. And that's because the tire came apart, not because the tread came off a recap. What they found were that about two thirds of the tires that were recovered that had failed were retreaded tires. And you think, well, two thirds of those, that's more than half. So that means they're more likely to fail. But about two thirds of the tires in use on semi trucks, commercial vehicles are retread tires. What they found, and I'll show you the, the pages here after this, was that there were no more retread failures found than virgin tire failures. I've got a friend who I trust and he works at a truck tire shop and he said they get two to one retread tires in for failure. But that makes sense because two to one, they're in use out on the road. So the ratios were the same. And this 200 some odd page study, which is really detailed. And like I said, it's pretty fascinating. If you go in here, they have photos of how are retreads made. Uh, they show tire failures, all kinds of stuff in here. It's interesting. Like I said, I'll have a link down below. If you wanna spend some time, you can't, can't sleep and you wanna read this, but Anyway, before somebody tells you that retreads are more likely to fail, take a look at this study and see if that data is convincing to you or not. If they tell you something, ask them for some proof, ask them for some data. Again, we're not trying to change anybody's mind here, but there's so many opinions out there. Are tire blowouts scary? Yeah, but a tire is no more likely to blow out if it's a retread, at least according to this study, the best one available. It's no more likely to, to fail if it's a retread than a virgin tire. So people will say, ah, oh, yeah, you don't want to blow out. Well, absolutely. I don't want to blow out on any tire, new or retreaded. And if you keep your tire inflation in a proper range for the weight of your vehicle, you are more likely to avoid a blowout. And then of course, avoid hitting things on the roadway. What happens if you do have a blowout on the front tires. Well, one of the things that they've observed is that people tend to jam on the brakes. And if your right front tire, say, blows out, it's going to pull you to the right. And if you get on the brakes, all you've done now is exaggerated that pulling force, that force vector off to the side. A better thing to do, oddly, is to accelerate a bit because by adding some forward acceleration, you change the force vector instead of pulling to the side as much, the more acceleration you can add, it will straighten you out some or change the force vector towards the front some and then slow down gradually. But the last thing you wanna do if you have a blowout and if you're in your schoolie doing 65, you may not be able to accelerate, but don't jam on the brakes, avoid that instinct. Steer as straight as possible, obviously, move gradually to the side of the road and be careful when you get your right tires off on the side of the road, if off onto the shoulder, if your left tires are on the asphalt and your right tires are in the dirt and you jam on the brakes, the difference in the coefficient of friction between the asphalt, which will grab more, has more stickosity, and the slippery gravel side will cause your, your bus actually to turn to the left. 
and that's a cause of crashes sometimes. People get part way off the edge of the road, their right tires are in the gravel, left tires on the road, you get on the brakes real hard, and the right tires slide more easily, so you turn to the left, and then if you get off the brakes, you shoot across the lanes of traffic. So accelerate a little bit if you can, just until you've got control. Let off the accelerator, brake lightly if at all, move off the side of the road safely, and then come to a safe stop. Take as long as you need. Anyway, I hope this is interesting. I will now show you a couple of these screenshots, but with no audio, just a little bit of music. Have a great day.